Roses are best known as ornamental plants grown for their flowers in the garden and sometimes indoors. They have been also used for commercial perfumery and commercial cut flower crops. Some are used as landscape plants, for hedging and for other utilitarian purposes such as game cover and slope stabilization. The majority of ornamental roses are hybrids that were bred for their flowers. A few, mostly species roses are grown for attractive or scented foliage, such as Rosa glauca and Rosa rubiginosa, ornamental thorns, such as Rosa sericea, or for their showy fruit, such as Rosa moyasea. Ornamental roses have been cultivated for millennia, with the earliest known cultivation known to date from at least 500 BC in Mediterranean countries, Persia, and China. It is estimated that 30 to 35,000 rose hybrids and cultivars have been bred and selected for garden use as flowering plants. Most are double flowered with many or all of the stamens having morphed into additional petals. In the early 19th century the Empress Josephine of France patronized the development of rose breeding at her gardens at Malmaison. As long ago as 1840 a collection numbering over 1,000 different cultivars, varieties and species was possible when a rosarium was planted by Lottage's Nursery for Abney Park Cemetery, an early Victorian garden cemetery and arboretum in England. Roses are a popular crop for both domestic and commercial cut flowers. Generally they are harvested and cut when in bud, and held in refrigerated conditions until ready for display at their point of sale. In temperate climates, Cut roses are often grown in greenhouses, and in warmer countries they may also be grown under cover in order to ensure that the flowers are not damaged by weather and that pest and disease control can be carried out effectively. Significant quantities are grown in some tropical countries, and these are shipped by air to markets across the world. Some kind of roses are artificially colored using dyed water, like rainbow roses. Rose perfumes are made from rose oil, also called a tar of roses, which is a mixture of volatile essential oils obtained by steam distilling the crushed petals of roses. An associated product is rose water which is used for cooking, cosmetics, medicine and religious practices. The production technique originated in Persia and then spread through Arabia and India, and more recently into Eastern Europe. In Bulgaria, Iran and Germany, damask roses, rosa times domicina, trigentapetala, are used. In other parts of the world rosa thyme centifolia is commonly used. The oil is transparent pale yellow or yellow-gray in color. Rose absolute is solvent extracted with hexane and produces a darker oil, dark yellow to orange in color. The weight of oil extracted is about 1 3,000th to 1 6,000th of the weight of the flowers. For example, about 2,000 flowers are required to produce 1 gram of oil. The main constituents of attar of roses are the fragrant alcohols geraniol and l citronellol and rose camphor, an odorless solid composed of alkanes, which separates from rose oil. Beta domicinone is also a significant contributor to the scent. Rose hips are high in vitamin C, are edible raw, and occasionally made into jam, jelly, marmalade, and soup, or are brewed for tea. They are also pressed and filtered to make rose hip syrup. Rose hips are also used to produce rose hip seed oil which is used in skin products and some makeup products. Rose water has a very distinctive flavor and is used in Middle Eastern, Persian, and South Asian cuisine, especially in sweets such as Turkish delight, barfi, baklava, halva, gulab jamun, nafe, and nougat. Rose petals or flower buds are sometimes used to flavor ordinary tea, or combined with other herbs to make herbal teas. A sweet preserve of rose petals called gulkand is common in the Indian subcontinent. The leaves and washed roots are also sometimes used to make tea. In France, there is much use of rose syrup, most commonly made from an extract of rose petals. In the Indian subcontinent, rue afsa, a concentrated squash made with roses, is popular, as are rose-flavored frozen desserts such as ice cream and kulfi. The flower stems and young shoots are edible, as are the petals, sands the white or green bases. The latter are usually used as flavoring or to add their scent to food. Other minor uses include candied rose petals, rose creams, rose-flavored fondant covered in chocolate, often topped with a crystallized rose petal, are a traditional English confectionery widely available from numerous producers in the UK. The rose hip, usually from R. Canina, is used as a minor source of vitamin C. The fruits of many species have significant levels of vitamins and have been used as a food supplement. Many roses have been used in herbal and folk medicines. Rosa chinensis has long been used in Chinese traditional medicine.
This and other species have been used for stomach problems, and are being investigated for controlling cancer growth. In pre-modern medicine, diarodin, gr diarodin, compound of roses, from rodin, of roses, is a name given to various compounds in which red roses are an ingredient. The long cultural history of the rose has led to it being used often as a symbol. In ancient Greece, the rose was closely associated with the goddess Aphrodite. In the Iliad, Aphrodite protects the body of Hector using the immortal oil of the rose, and the archaic Greek lyric poet Ibicus praises a beautiful youth saying that Aphrodite nursed him among rose blossoms. The 2nd century AD Greek travel writer Pausanias associates the rose with the story of Adonis and states that the rose is red because Aphrodite wounded herself on one of its thorns and stained the flower red with her blood. Book 11 of the ancient Roman novel The Golden Ass by Apuleius contains a scene in which the goddess Isis, who is identified with Venus, instructs the main character, Lucius, who has been transformed into a donkey, to eat rose petals from a crown of roses worn by a priest as part of a religious procession in order to regain his humanity. Following the Christianization of the Roman Empire, the rose became identified with the Virgin Mary. The color of the rose and the number of roses received has symbolic representation. The rose symbol eventually led to the creation of the rosary and other devotional prayers in Christianity. Ever since the 1400s, the Franciscans have had a crown rosary of the seven joys of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the 1400s and 1500s, the Carthusians promoted the idea of sacred mysteries associated with the rose symbol and rose gardens. Albrecht Dürer's painting The Feast of the Rosary, 1506, depicts the Virgin Mary distributing garlands of roses to her worshippers. Roses symbolized the houses of York and Lancaster in a conflict known as the Wars of the Roses. Roses are a favored subject in art and appear in portraits, illustrations, on stamps, as ornaments or as architectural elements. The Luxembourg-born Belgian artist and botanist Pierre-Joseph Ridote is known for his detailed watercolors of flowers, particularly roses. Henri Fantin Latour was also a prolific painter of still life, particularly flowers including roses. The rose, Fantin Latour, was named after the artist. Other impressionists including Claude Monet, Paul Cézanne and Pierre-Auguste Renoir have paintings of roses among their works. In the 19th century, for example, artists associated the city of Trieste with a certain rare white rose, and this rose developed as the city's symbol. It was not until 2021 that the rose, which was believed to be extinct, was rediscovered there. In 1986 President Ronald Reagan signed legislation to make the rose the floral emblem of the United States. A rose is either a woody perennial flowering plant of the genus Rosa, in the family Rosaceae, or the flower it bears. There are over 300 species and tens of thousands of cultivars. They form a group of plants that can be erect shrubs, climbing, or trailing, with stems that are often armed with sharp prickles. Their flowers vary in size and shape and are usually large and showy, in colors ranging from white through yellows and reds. Most species are native to Asia with smaller numbers native to Europe, North America, and Northwestern Africa. Species, cultivars and hybrids are all widely grown for their beauty and often are fragrant. Roses have acquired cultural significance in many societies. Rose plants range in size from compact, miniature roses, to climbers that can reach 7 meters in height. Different species hybridize easily, and this has been used in the development of the wide range of garden roses.